So now let's get ahead. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with the hands-on. So we'll take the IoT board that you have in front of you and connect the USB connector to the ST-Link uh, programmer. So then you'll want to open up uh, STM32 Cube Programmer and go ahead and connect your board, open file, and browse the directory uh, that's here. C ST Euro 2019 hands-on workshop 5 STM32 L4 Cube AI. And then you want to look for the function pack sensing one version 2.2. This is the same one that you can download on st.com and look for the binaries for your board. So the reason why we have so many binaries is that there's one for each neural network implementation. So there's one flavor for the acoustic sync classification and three different flavors for the HAR. They're being trained, uh, it's either a different topology or a different data set for the training. The ones with BL means that they will include a bootloader on top of the user application. The ones without BL need to be programmed at a specific uh, memory region and you need to have programmed the bootloader prior to programming the application. So without BL you will use it for the photo and the ones with BL can be used just out of the box using Cube Programmer. So we'll be using the ASC underscore BL dot bin, open, program, download, file download complete and you can disconnect Cube Programmer. Once your board is uh, programmed, we'll open a serial terminal application such as ser uh, TerraTerm, new connection, ST-Link virtual COM port, and you want to change the baud rate to 115.200. Once your UART terminal is connected, you can go ahead and press the black reset button and you should be able to see the startup log of the application. In the log, uh, you should look up for your Bluetooth device address. This will be used to identify which one is your device when we'll go ahead and connect to it using the smartphone. Once your board is programmed, you can use the STBLE sensor app on your Android phone and find your device and go to the audio classification page. So other features of the app are just the raw sensor data. You can plot it, you can see your battery level if it's a battery powered device. But the two important uh, tabs for the AI uh, pack is a AI uh, algorithm page where it's either audio classification or activity recognition, depending on which binary you've programmed. And the AI data log page where you can select which sensor you want to log uh, and enter some labels and then store it either on an SD card or the external QSPI flash memory. This is very useful to create new models, new data sets, and uh, retrain or either retrain your model.